Hello, Tubers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper's Thai Adventure. Welcome back. Today we got a real special one for you. We are here in Bangkok at the Grand Prix, Pre Grand Prix Motor Show, 45th Motor Show here at the Exhibition Center here in Bangkok. And guess what? Cooper has got a VIP pass for press. See, having a YouTube path, having a YouTube channel gets you certain perks here in Thailand because they want the free promotion. So uh, if you're a YouTuber, you get to come here a day before. They give you a VIP pass and it's open to the public from tomorrow. But guess what? You're going to get a sneak peek today. We're going to go in right now and have a look at some of the most fabulous sports cars around. Stay tuned because we're going to go to the other floors as well. And we're going to show you there all the latest tech cars that are here available in thailand we're going to go from the most expensive down to the cheapest that you can buy here so without further ado let's get started and so here we are we are at hall four and it officially opens to the public on the 27th let's go through the scanner there and today is the 26th we've got uh Speciality passes here come in for four of us. So we're going to come in and take a look at these beautiful cars. Starting with the McLaren, the brand new McLaren. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful car? Moving on to the brand new Ferrari. Look at that in cherry red. Absolutely beautiful. And then my favorite, the Lamborghini. Bitcoin hits a million dollars, I'll be buying one of that. So uh, go ahead and root for me on the channel. And you're gonna see this tonight because we're gonna have this uploaded on YouTube for you tonight. So you're gonna see it before the general public come in here. And look at this. Look at those tailpipes, don't they look angry? Absolutely beautiful. Move on to the Ferrari. And uh, there you go, another angry tailpipe and I like the flicker and brake light down there for the pit stops as they have in uh, Formula One and then the McLaren uh, this this is just a beast it's got four center tailpipes look at that four center tailpipe absolutely beautiful car so now let's uh, move on to the other side and have a look at the other cars here on show there we go new Lamborghini 63 don't that look sweet I really like the twin and if you look here it's got the twin air intake right there And uh, another beautiful Lamborghini there. Sort of reminds me of the Kung Tash, the way they're going back in style with a more rounded shape to it. And then over here, the brand new Nissan GTR. Look at that. If that's not a beautiful car, I don't know what is. Japanese sure know how to build them, don't they? And uh, let's go around to the back and have a look at the beautiful tailpipes on this one. Gold rims, carbon fiber disc brakes, beautiful. Oh wow, it's got the electric blue tailpipes right there. So, I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. It's got the electric blue tailpipes there on both sides, left and right. Wow. And then, for ultimate style, here you go. For the Bill Gates of this world, Rolls Royce. Look at this car. Wow. This is the new extended Phantom. 
and that is just something extremely, extremely special. And then, look at the rims there. It's super, super beautiful. Wow, I love it. That is a extra luxury car here. And you could buy it here in Thailand if you got enough money. You can buy the new Rolls-Royce Phantom Extended. Beautiful car. And then you also have the Rolls-Royce Dawn. And this is the Rolls-Royce Dawn here, brand new model. Look absolutely beautiful. So that is uh, this year's current model of the Rolls-Royce Dawn with the uh, yellow trim inside. Don't that look beautiful? Another new McLaren. Absolutely beautiful car. Look at this one here in white. Sort of very futuristic there. And the one thing I like about this one is it's got the center steering. So you don't have a, a driver's seat on the left or right. You've got the center steering right there. Talk about plus, plus, plus. <laughs> and this is the McLaren collection. Is this actually going to be a production car or is it just a demo? We don't know yet because this is just the press day. So the press lets you come in here. And this is called the McLaren Speedtail. So there you go, first look today at the McLaren Speedtail. And this one over here. Is just, just says McLaren. So there's no badge on the back. Tell me if it's the F1 model or any other model for that matter. And then over here, if you like your vintage Ferraris, they have them here. All the old ones to all the new ones. Look at that. Can you remember the day when uh, we had all the switches there inside and uh, an actual key instead of a fob <laughs> and a uh, six-speed gearbox. Well, this one was actually a five-speed gearbox, but uh, it's one of the old Quattro valves, 308. Really nice 308, Magnum special. Remember the Magnum TV show we used to watch back in the day? There you go. And there you go. So there's the wife. Hello, live stream. <laughs> You're getting a sneak peek at tonight's YouTube video. Stay tuned. <laughs> I told them to go. <laughs> and then uh, another Ferrari here, which is the F355 uh, Ballarito. Ballar I can't pronounce that, but yeah, <laughs> these Italian words. And it's, I really like that they brought out the old collection, you know, so you can sort of see where it's come out through the years. And this is the Challenge, what's this, Stendale? Ferrari Challenge Stendale. Oh, I know, I'm gonna get it in the channel to tonight, aren't I? With uh, the pronunciation police there. And then you have the Ferrari 575M. Beautiful. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite Ferrari? We all had, uh, us guys had the posters on the walls, didn't we? Which one was it? Was it the Magnum Special? Was it the uh, F1? The Ferrari California? I'd really like to know which one was your favorite Ferrari. And uh, but that uh, still looks absolutely beautiful to this day. And they're the old models. Can you see? 
um, Mike Baker says, see if Cooper can sit in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not allowed. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I wish. Because of my big tummy. Oh, you're so romantic, wife. Very, very romantic. Ferraris, all Ferraris, the old collection. <laughs> Thank you, Mike Baker. Can you sit in one? Yeah, I'd probably sit in one, but I wouldn't be able to get out of <laughs> Too big. But hey, we can dream, right? And then you have the specialist garage here with uh, cleaning products to uh, make your car shine just that more beautiful. And there you go. Car for Mr. Schneider. Bitcoin. <laughs> it's not Bitcoin. But uh, you'll get a kick out of that. He's around here somewhere. And then over here, you got some beautiful bikes. KTM. And believe it or not, this one here is only a 350. Look at the size of that. It's a beast. Looks like my old days when I had a Kawasaki Ninja 600. It's about the same size, but now today, these are only 350s. RC 350. And if you want to buy a EV power station for your home or your condo, they sell them here. And they'll even put them in for you. Plus, plus, plus. All different things here. Leather jackets. My wife really likes this. The new Staria. She likes it because uh, I'd be the chauffeur. And she'd be the one sitting in the back. Because uh, they got feet rests and they recline and... They'll extend and come out the side here and built-in TVs and infotainment and all that. And this is what you get from the front row. <laughs> and then there's all different seats that you can have put into it, depending what you wanted. Um, see here with the third row with the recliner uh, on the second row for what they... Uh, my wife likes to call the aircraft seats camper vans remember the good old day of camper vanning well guess what they got them here in thailand too and uh they put them on top of the hilux so what do you think should uh coopersville and invest in a camper to go on top of our hilux well we'd never be able to take it in the mall again that's for sure as the uh the height limit for restrictions in the malls here tend to be about 2.2 meters so uh, about seven feet and that would take me over the limit but yeah massage chairs in a car show okay I've seen everything now lots of cleaning products getting ready for the grand opening tomorrow But uh, we get to come in and have a sneak peek. And uh, earlier last week, I ran into a famous YouTuber here in Thailand. He's got over uh, half a million subscribers. And uh, he was telling me, you know, if, uh, if you're a YouTube channel, and you're going to any of these events, go on, on online and uh, apply for the VIP pass so you can get a, a press pass and come in and film it for your channel. So you get to look before the mad crowd gets here. And uh, there's literally no room to walk around. And now, over this side, where we came in, they also have the 6.5 liter Hummer here. Look at this. Turbo diesel, 
6.5 liter Hummer. Absolutely beautiful. How many famous rappers you know they got that? And the H2 as well. I do like the H2 Hummer. Really nice. Would I want to drive one? Mm. Maybe for the day. I like the steps here as well. Really, really nice. So, now you've seen the expensive toys. Let's go look at the more modest ones. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Now we're in the next hole. Let's see what they have here. And as soon as you walk in, Kawasaki off-roader there. Which is uh, 230 horsepower right there. KLX 230. There you go. You can win a uh, Lumia or this one here, which is the MG4 electric. There you go. That's the one I'd like to win right there. <laughs> Much better. Go to, uh, through the security checkpoint. We're checking that we have our appropriate press passes to get in. We're able to get four. So, uh, brought Jook Brooke and Miss Jackie with us. And here we go. We're now on the main area. Wow. Wow, this is big cool. There we go. They got my namesake, Mini Cooper. And here you go. You have the Cabriolet here convertible. Mini convertible classic. Really nice. Sports. And uh, I'm sure you guys are interested in what the price is. So let's take a look and see what the price is in Thailand for the mini convertible sport. Right there, 2.719 million. And then you have the mini Clubman, just over here. Getting polished for the big event tomorrow. And that is 2.4. One nine billion as well. This is you. This is me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a Cooper Mini Hatch three door classic. And uh, the price of the classic is oh, 2.519 million. So, Mini Coopers, a little bit uh, pricey here in Thailand, but Mini's come a long way. That's when uh, I remember them back in the day. So uh, let's go over and see what else we have here. This is an incredibly big haul. And over this side, BMW. Yes, you can buy BMWs here in Thailand. And uh, there you go, the X3 X-Drive 30E M Sport is 3.879 million. Wow. But one thing I found is uh, you can now get Escalades in Thailand, so I'm seriously considering one of them. And this is a BMW X6. Uh, Four liter injected M Sport, 5.939 million. <laughs> and I'm sure you're gonna see from the stickers that it does say you can pay monthly, but that's only if you're living and working here in Thailand full time. Okay, you must show a tax ID and income and all that to get finance. Foreigners on retirement visas, eh -eh. <laughs> So uh, we can't get finance for them. We have to pay cash. Ouch. And it does. Look at this one here. The brand new Z4. Three liter injection right there. M Sport. Twin pipes on the back. And uh, apologize for the music, loud music in the background. They got a uh, 
event just about to be starting. And the Z4 costs 4.239 pounds a pop. Wow. That's like uh, 120,000 US dollars. And uh, there you go. That's what the inside looks like. Over this side here, we have the Ford department. And Ford just recently here in Thailand brought out the V6 for the Everest and also the Ranger. So now you can get the Ranger Wild Track available in V6. And also the new Everest Platinum available also in V6. Or you can just go through for the My Turbo. And the new wild truck, Everest, right there. And then, that's the titanium one. But here you go. Here's the latest one, just released in Thailand. Uh, apparently, there's only going to be 300 of these, so uh, very hard to come by. And this is the platinum, and there is a waiting list. So they did originally re introduce this to Australia as an Australia only market for the V6 Platinum. But uh, I think Thailand got quite a lot of requests. So with that, they decided to bring out a limited amount of the V6 Platinum here in Thailand. In the Philippines, the maximum you can get is the uh, bi-turbo titanium, not the platinum. And inside the Platinum here, the main differences that you'll find are the stitched seats here that have the ventilation in them, the hot and cold ventilation. Of course, you're not gonna want hot in Thailand, but the cold, definitely a plus, plus, plus there. So this one here actually has the ventilation in both front seats here, driver and passenger. Also in the new V6, um, that's upgrade from the platinum, um, sorry, the titanium into the platinum, is you also have four high and four low and two high and two low. So uh, absolutely great there. Added bonus for the V6 model. Now me, I've got a Toyota Hilux and I was hoping they were gonna have the new Toyota Hilux next generation here because I'm really interested to see how Toyota is going to compete with Ford because right now they have a battle of the trucks and as for the SUVs the Everest in my opinion beats the Toyota SUV hands down hands down it beats it and the reason why it's the third seat folks the third seat on the toyota suv does not lay flat it folds up at the sides whereas the everest it lays flat and it's got push button controls for the third seat so i'm gonna walk over to toyota when i find it and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because for me that is a deal killer right there and one that Ford beats Toyota on everybody thought when the next generation Toyota came out last year that they would put the seats back to lie flat well they didn't do that and the reason Toyota said they're not going to do it is because of where the fuel tank is on the third row and it would be extremely hard for them to, they'd have to completely redesign the whole car from uh, front to back just to make the third row lie flat well to me 
That's just a bad excuse. They could have done it if they wanted to, but they decided not to. And here you go. What would be a car show without the future of transportation? Right there. The first, uh, one of the first, legal, street legal. Uh, what would you call them? Uh, a gyro car? Look at that right there, it's a two-seater. And uh, looks absolutely fantastic. All controlled by that touchscreen right there. So no joysticks, no steering wheels, all done there on touchscreen. Wow. <laughs> And here we are, Mr. Brooke Schneider over here. Cooper. Hello, there he is. There's Mr. James. We can't find him. He's supposed he's to be in, in today's he's video. He's in one to three. He's on his way. He's in this building somewhere. We're over <laughs> by Toyota Lexus. Set up. So, uh, like I said, we came over here. The main reason I wanted to come to today's event is I really wanted to see the new Hilux. I've been waiting for the next-gen Hilux since they announced it two years ago. And what do we got? Right here, the 2024 Hilux. And uh, this is the GR, and uh, it's uh, supposed to be a hybrid, and the price on this GR is... 1.499 million right there on the window and to be honest yeah it does look good they changed the tires on it so now they have the all-terrain tires which i already did um and then they put these beefy sidebars on here for the for the rims but it's still just the same as mine uh, mine's the Hilux Revo, but mine's the Hilux Revo Rocco, four-wheel drive, and uh, this is the sport version. For roughly the same price I paid for mine. Oh, my throat's really dry. I need a drink. And then uh, Mr. Schneider's over here looking at the pre-runner. And that one is 889,000 baht. That's Not a, a bad. good buy. That's a good buy, but it's only a two door, Brooke. No, the no, back four door. It's suicide door. Yeah. So the back here is suicide That's door. That's all I yeah. need. Yeah. You could, you could fit in the back, couldn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the girls in the back. <laughs> so uh, just trying to find the. Toyota SUV, which should be around here somewhere. Weird. Maybe it's around this side. <laughs> Let's escape the ordinary, the all-new Lexus LBX. And uh, Lexus got a show going on right now for the press. New model. But I can't find the Toyota Fortuna. And uh, that's the one I was referring to earlier, the Toyota Fortuna. And... Uh, the other one that Toyota has uh, that you may see in the West is the Toyota Land Cruiser. Unfortunately, it is not available here in Thailand. It is a V8 engine and uh, they do have it available in the Philippines. I've actually seen it in the Philippines with my own eyes, uh, but I think they told me it was over a year waiting less for it as it is super, super cool. 
unfortunately. Thailand says, eh, eh. So we just have to make do with the cars that they have here. Now let's go over and take a look at the MG. And MG came out with this super cool Sportster. And it is called the Sidester. Look at that. Does that not look awesome if I ever saw one? Right there. That is absolutely beautiful. A brand new Sidester. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. And, uh, push button right here for entry and exit. Indian vlogger in there, vlogging live. But what I like is this also got side cameras there. And Lambo doors. Very nice. So you don't have to worry if you, somebody's parked too close next to you, you pop the door out and in you go. Plus, 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 I wonder how much that is. Very nice. Hey, Goops. Ah, there he is, Mr. James. Say hello to Mr. James. How you doing, guys? All good. How you doing, brother? Excellent. Excellent. Welcome back, tubers. And I found my next mode of transportation. There it is, right there. The all-new Honda Goldwing. Is that not a beautiful, beautiful touring bike? I mean, this bike has got everything that I love about bikes. It's got GPS here on the uh, digital display here, built-in speakers, reverse gear. These suckers are not light, so you got the reverse switch here from forward and reverse, and there's your toggle control for your speed. And then it also has cruise control, gives your wrist a nice break. And it's automatic, so uh, no clutch, no gears. Really, really nice. And they are about to unveil a new car, pickup truck, uh, here from uh, Vietnam. Vietnam is bringing a electric picture of pickup truck, and it's about to debut here for the very first time. So. Uh, just waiting for him to pull the cloth off that one. We might walk over there and take a look. A Vietnamese pickup truck. Um, food for that. Um, let me know what you guys think in, in the comments. Would you buy a Vietnamese electric pickup truck? And uh, look at all these beautiful bikes here. I must have been. I do like them. I miss my sports bikes. Uh, I've had a few. Honda Nighthawk was a one that I really loved back in the, uh, the 80s. Here. I had a Honda Nighthawk. There's the ADV 350. And here you go, Star Wars bike. Honda Star Wars. <laughs> that cool. There you go. Look at that. That was funky. Would you get a, a Honda Star Wars monkey? <laughs> really, really cool. This is my James got something he wants to show me here. He's pretty excited about. This is what I want. The Triumph Tiger. 900 Rally Pro. And that's my... Now you get all the boxes with it? That's great for the Mudder uh, Show. Oh, wow. That's where we all that in. So he's interested in getting this Rally Pro bike. And it's a Triumph Tiger. And if you buy it from the Motor Show, you get the free boxes with it. Not bad. Six, six fifty nine. Yeah, he's got three bikes at the moment, so this will be bike number four. <laughs> That's why he's moving out of his condo and into a villa, because he needs the extra parking space. 
It's where he's parked at his condo. They said, nope, don't get no more. We have no more space for him. <laughs> oh, there you go. James is moving in the next week. And uh, I'll be making a video and showing you uh, his new place and how much it costs. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, look at these triumphs here. Wow, these are big boys. That is a Rocket 3 GT right there. This one here is CBO Road Glide. It's a new one on me. And no, for uh, my viewers out there, models not included. And this is a uh, Harley Davidson 121. Not bad at all. I like that it's got the touring suitcases here on either side and built in speakers. So, is this going to compete with my all favorite gold wing? No way. But I do like it. And I like the pipes here at the back. It's got twin pipes there on the back. Really, really nice. Also got the accessory there for the feet right here. So it makes your feet more comfortable and you can recline while you're driving there. Very, very nice. It's a Harley, yeah. Not bad, huh? But unfortunately for James, models not included. <laughs> yeah. One one four Harley. Another road glide here. This is the 117 road glide. Doesn't have the speakers like the other one does on the back, but it does have front speakers. And look at the size of that front fairing right there. That is a full digital screen right there. Wow. And its own vent control for the driver right there. You can control the vents where the airflow goes to cool you down while you're driving. Very nice. So many bikes. Yeah, it's the one, two, one. Same there. I just, but what, I just didn't have a look at Yamaha. Yeah, what I like is the foot, for the footboards for the front. Yeah. Big plus, whereas the and gold one doesn't have it. You can rest your leg up on here too on long rides. Just put your leg up there as well. Yeah. Okay, stretch your leg out. You bring my brakes. Very nice. But CBL, three million baht. Fucking rip off here. Three million baht. Three million. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. CBL. That's twice what I paid for my pickup truck. Yeah. Uh, as you can see from all the cameras, there's a lot of press around. Yeah, I have to wait for the reveal. And over this side here, you have uh, boat engines. It's Yamaha makes boat engines. And jet skis. So this is the uh, Wave Runner here. Really nice, and I do like it because it's three seaters. My jet ski that I have uh, is a two seater, but uh, if you try and put a third one on the back, what happens? Y'all yeah, flip over. <laughs>